Welcome to the Shika Serbu Motor Channel. This channel provides easy to understand explanations of car mechanisms. Tires are the most important components of vehicles. Even a 600 PS V8 twin turbo engine or Brembo 6 piston brakes is worthless if the tires lose traction. To ensure your safety and the safety of those around your car, regular inspection and maintenance of your tires are essential. The tread grooves in tires drain water from between the tire and the road surface on wet roads, ensuring traction. The drainage capability is affected by water depth, vehicle speed, and tread depth. If the tire tread grooves are sufficiently deep, they can drain water from the contact patch even at certain speeds and water depths, ensuring traction. However, if the tire tread grooves are shallow, the drainage capacity decreases, eventually causing the tire to lift off the road and completely lose traction. The vehicle will no longer respond at all, even if you operate the steering wheel, brake pedal, or accelerator pedal. To be precise, operating the steering wheel will change the direction of the tires. Depressing the brake pedal will reduce the tire rotation speed. And depressing the accelerator pedal will increase the tire rotation speed. However, the vehicle will continue moving straight ahead. Driving at high speed on a highway with worn tires during heavy rain can lead to the worst possible outcome. Tread depth can be checked visually. The tread grooves have sections called a wear indicator where the groove is shallower. When the tire wears down and the wear indicator becomes level with the surrounding tread surface, it indicates that the remaining tread depth is 1.6 millimeters. In general, the use of tires with a tread depth below 1.6 millimeters is prohibited by law. Generally, the tread depth of new summer tires is around 8 millimeters. The sidewall of the tire has a triangle mark and the wear indicator is located along this line. When checking the tire tread, first look for the triangle mark on the sidewall of the tire. If suspension components are replaced with aftermarket parts, or the wheel alignment becomes misaligned due to aging of bushings, or tire pressure is not properly maintained, the tires may wear unevenly. For more details about wheel alignment, please refer to the video titled, Wheel Alignment. If you're interested, please check it out. The link is provided in the description. For example, if the tone is greater than the specified value, the outer edge of the tire will wear excessively. If the negative camber exceeds the specified value, the inner edge of the tire will wear excessively. If you continue driving with tire pressure higher than the specified value, the center of the tire will wear excessively. Conversely, if the pressure is too low, both edges of the tire will wear excessively. Whether it's normal wear or uneven wear, the most important thing is to notice that the tires are wearing out. Be sure to perform regular checks. Tire pressure affects every aspect of a vehicle's performance, including fuel efficiency, handling, ride comfort, and safety. First, let's consider fuel efficiency. When tire pressure is low, the contact area increases, resulting in higher rolling resistance. This graph compares the rolling resistance of a certain tire at the specified pressure and at a pressure 50 kPa lower than the specified value. It can be seen that the rolling resistance of tires with lower pressure is higher across all speed ranges. Higher rolling resistance leads to reduced fuel efficiency. Tire pressure also affects ride comfort. When tire pressure is low, stiffness decreases, allowing the tires to absorb road irregularities, which improves ride comfort. When tire pressure is high, stiffness increases, resulting in a firmer ride. What is the relationship between tire pressure and traction? During straight line driving, low tire pressure increases the contact area, enhancing traction while high tire pressure reduces the contact area, decreasing traction. During cornering, low tire pressure results in lower stiffness, causing the tire to deform under load, 
which reduces the contact area and decreases traction. High tire pressure maintains traction because the higher stiffness minimizes deformation. Driving at high speeds with low tire pressure is extremely dangerous. If the tire pressure is at the specified level, the deformed tire surface at the contact patch will return to its original shape before making contact with the ground again. When the tire pressure is low, the deformation returns to the contact patch before it can recover, resulting in a continuous undulating effect. This is known as the standing wave phenomenon. In the worst case, it can lead to a tire blowout. Even if you leave your car parked in the garage, the tire pressure will decrease over time. The molecules of the air inside the tire escape because they are smaller than the molecular structure of the tire's rubber, allowing them to pass through it. For this reason, you must regularly check your tire pressure. During activities like circuit driving, even a slight change in tire pressure can significantly affect handling. Lowering the front tire pressure by just 20 kPa can increase understeer and result in slower lap times. You might say, it's not a problem since I don't push the limits that much. However, even in city traffic, if a car suddenly pulls out from the side, you will be driving at the limit in that moment. In that moment, a difference of 20 kPa could be the difference between avoiding or causing an accident. Don't forget to regularly check your tire pressure and wear. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. We'll see you in the next video.